Well, here you go. Let's dispel the very first myth of the new DJI drone ban that they're going to fall out of the sky when the government bans them on their covered list. Here's proof that they're still flying. Now let's talk more about what's really going on with the drone ban and how it affects you, our client. For those of you who've been following my updates for the last 60 days on the DJI drone ban, yes, it went into effect yesterday. That's December 22nd. As of the recording today, which is at two o'clock on the 23rd, I've already received no less than six calls from contractors and federal entities wanting to know what our inventory list is. For those of you who've been following me, you know that we took this very seriously. We didn't want to hit the panic alarm. We wanted to be educational to all of the people that we enjoy servicing, letting them know that there are other alternatives. If you saw my previous video, we introduced you to the Japanese 100% made by Sony system called the Airpeak. It allows us to fly incredible, incredible Sony cameras. For example, the A1. So we can kick up the game by using these new systems. But what I want to preface, forget all the internet noise. You know us to be your trusted resource. Simply call us, we'll give you the facts without all the fluff and let you know, yes, you can fly your current drones. We're not an authority, we're not the FAA. However, we can tell you what is practical to use when you can use it and what you can't use it on. Also, while the primary focus of this legislation involves FHWA funded projects, please don't think it stops there. It is also regulatory on universities, research projects, any grants that are involved in that. It is very wide encompassing. But the biggest thing I want you to take away, again, in a calm and non-panic type fashion is Remember, we're not dealing with OSHA here if you're in construction. We're not dealing with civil or state issues. We're dealing with federal issues. The DHS, the DOD, the DOJ, all those fancy letters are now involved and heavily entrenched in monitoring the compliance of any drone program that is involved with government work. So it bears a word of caution. It bears us to take this seriously and understand the power of the bodies that are now monitoring an industry that has been pretty much cavalier up until this point. From myself and my whole team at Extreme Aerial, if you need our help, we're there for you. You don't have to wor worry about compliance. We're gonna take care of you, make sure that your projects maintain the deliverables on the agreed upon schedule, and that we're always here for you and we're willing to invest to keep your projects going. And again, thank you so much for being the best part of Extreme Aerial Productions. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for your continued support and driving us to answer this question we get asked every day. Hey Mark, can a drone do this? That's what we're here for.